Anyway, yes. Okay, now we are officially starting the uh, the alt run. So let's head to version two's castle and talk to King Arios. A lot. Yeah. How many hours of content is there now available in English? All of version one through version four. So roughly, arguably more, depending on what you want out of it. Is a lot of content. That is roughly four RPGs worth of story. Is a lot of content. I like wanted to play this since I was 12, 13. Oh, join the club. <laughs> but yes, there is a lot of, oh God, <laughs> mood. There is a lot, oh, how do you think I feel? I'm 27. Ah, but uh, freaking, yeah, there's a lot of game now. <laughs> ah, see, oh, you know what I just remembered? Where's the one guard with the really strong jeans? <laughs> Say maybe 400 plus. Yeah, but not all of the quest cutscenes have been more than just dumped. Some of those still need to, a lot, most of those need to be fixed by hand. All right, uh, let's see. I believe on this file we did do all of the key emblems. Because I remember on my original run, I don't think I had done all the key emblems by the time we got to version six. Not six, three. So yeah, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And 22 now, oof. I think version six is almost done too. I know Sunya has been working on it a lot. Yeah, um, version, as far as version six goes, 6.5 releases in two weeks. All right. <clears throat> With the great demon king Madasagora defeated, Astortia has an irreplaceable moment of peace. So I've de gathered to get, <sighs> wow, we just started and I already can't speak. This is truly is a, a me stream. So I have decided to gather all of the kings of Astoltia to celebrate the honor of this peace on the train. And hold a festival of the six species to celebrate and honor this peace. Of course, we would like you to be there as you saved Astoltia. But first, we need to get that thing out of the way so we can get started. That's right, your stamp card. I've applied Mas juice? Oh, machine. Yeah, these are still machine, you can tell. <laughs> I've applied moss juice to the most important items on your stamp. That's not what that says. I've applied a star to the most important items on your stamp to make them glow. Now then, show me your star. Oh, maybe that was accurate. Let's see here, version two. Excellent, I'm very sorry. I see that you have not completed the, the glowing items in your stamp card. Have I not? In order to start a new story, you must have completed all of the quests highlighted on your stamp card. However, oh my gosh. Soul Master, thank you very much for the subscription. Happy DQ Day. Yeah, thank you very much. Your Prime? Oh, oh does it? Oh, it does say with Prime. Yeah. In order to start a new story, you must have completed all the quests highlighted on your stamp card. However, you can also set these... Yeah, okay, I thought these were just the, uh... Is it all the guidance, too? I guess it is all the guidance. Well, we can go ahead and hit that as clear as we did before. But please understand two things. First, you will not be able to order or rip reactions to quests that have been deemed clear. Yeah. I am aware. We are doing this for the story. All of those are clear on our main file. The king is gating content. Yeah. Uncompleted quests are now set to deemed clear. You will not be able to re complete these quests until you have completed version three. I see that you've completed the glowing items, excellent. Despite the fact that I just said you have not. Don't worry about me. I just have spontaneous amnesia. Excellent has received the party invocation from King Arios. I've already cleared the quest from the shiny items. Now I can't, wow. I'm actually surprised how badly this is coming out. I'm, huh. The venue is the Grand Titus. Go grand down to the Grand Zadora Harbor on the first floor of the elevator and show the invitation to the sailor. We'll have a grand ball at the ex, 
we will have a grand ball there. Excellent. I hope you enjoy. Would you like to see the Adventures Guild feature and walk you through the new story? No. The adventure guide has been hidden. You can change this. Oh, whoops. That was something else. Apparently, there are no new quests complete on the stamp. Okay, hold on. Okay, it does say it's enabled, but it sure doesn't read like it is. That looks more accurate. Okay. <laughs> if you need a stone taxi, I am here. Good to know, but uh, I do not believe I will be using one for now. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I think on the original run of version three, oh, this, this feels like it's running like poop and I'm not sure why. On the original playthrough of version three, I think I went all the way to Lendor to get on the boat. Cause for the longest time, I don't think I even knew that you can uh, freaking enter that. Wow, that is hitting the yellow. DQX is very loud. Audio is a constant battle. That should be better. But yeah, we get some good old fashioned walking. And if I'm not mistaken, I should have my bike in this file. I'm pretty sure I bought it during the alt run. Gameplay, duller board, duller board form. I do, he has not been died though. What vocation are you playing as for the time being? I am playing as Battlemaster, which has kind of mostly been what I usually play. I'm debating for, because the original purpose of the alt one run was to recreate the parts of the games I didn't originally stream, but now that that has been completed, I think I'm okay going a little off script. Uh, so I might try go for Guardian off stream at some point, which would require me getting my warrior and my paladin to level 100. You get in the boat from the elevator? Can I? Oh, you meant this elevator, unless you meant this elevator, which yes, yes you can. But for the longest time, I did not know that this was here. Oh, this does connect back to the, that was not in English. Did it just not catch? Ah, uh, we should check that before we go any further. That'd be real awkward if uh, <laughs> I just stopped working for a minute. Fake translator, clearly. Hey, are you, are, are you, what, what language do you speak? Wait, crap, you are, uh, that one would have been loaded into the, <laughs> I need a random NPC, you'll do. Okay, yeah, clar clarity did not hook. Let's fix that. Hilarious. At least we found out now. Rather than mid cutscene, I agree. Well, mid cutscene actually wouldn't be a problem. Configuration is already running, then act like it. Because again, all of the regular cutscenes now load within the game's files. Those have actually been edited. The only thing that the actual clarity program itself is now responsible for is text that is loaded on the server. Anything that is local is within the game's files. So I'm not too worried about cutscenes and stuff like that. 
Those will behave as intended. Like we're not even 10 minutes into this. Freaking uh, on the background recording. The background is fire. Thank you. <laughs> Good old, uh, what do they call it? Something engine, background engine. Wallpaper engine. Good old wallpaper engine. <laughs> Doing the Lord's work. Oh, also, this is something cool that I don't think is public yet. I'd have to check. Reading some things about Ortega. Ooh, do tell some baked goods. Also, uh... I don't know if this... I know I was talking to Shobu. I don't know if this is public yet. Is it? That character names in your pause screen, like your online screen, are now in English. Is that public yet? Shobu had me test it. I don't think it's public yet. Is it working now? It's working. There's the delay. I want to go to the kingdom of Al Al Hagiro. I went to the kingdom of Al Al Hagiro the other day to see the monster arena. I would really like to pay a visit to the pyramid. Let neck. Freaking Star Fox over here. All I can speak in is gibberish. Like. <laughs> to the back. Technically, the first bit of voice acting in the series is Ortega on NES. Oh, like the... I forgot that was a character for a hot minute there. Huh. What does he say? I am curious to know. He just moans, ah. Very digitally. And by that logic, then Ze there's been voice acting in Zelda since A Link to the Past. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Excellent. The Grand Titus will soon set sail for the opening of the Festival of the Six Species. King Arios has already informed me that the hero's ally will be attending the Festival of the Six Species. Now, if you'd be so kind, could you please give me your party invitation? Let's see though, oh, wait, the translated version isn't multiplayer, right? Only in the NES intro. Translated version of what? Of multiplayer of what? For the party invitation. Oh, of DQX? No, this is an MMO, so like... It's all online. <laughs> Not the, uh, the offline version, I don't think I have any experience with that translation. If we're talking about X, yeah. I've indeed taken care of it. Now, please board the ship on the ramp. The ship will be leaving shortly. Oh, yes. Princess and Lucia is waiting for you on the rear deck of the Grand Titus Excellent. Only translated version is multiplayer ear work, though. I thought that was private or online, offline. Yeah, nope. This is the online version of the game. We do not have private servers yet. As soon as we do have private servers, I'd imagine we will probably be able to have access to the files that are saved on the server, since we'll have a private server. The cutscene, I'm turning my camera off. Oh my. I remember being so pissed off at this. Like, who are you, you son of a bitch? What's wrong? Do you not- don't you like it, in Lucia? Oh, no, I do. It's just... it's very pretty. I am honored to hear you say so. Now, please accept this. Wow, how beautiful. I can't believe that you're... Isn't this... Sorry, am I interrupting? Oh, excellent! You can, yes. You can play with your friends. I need to break that habit of reading chat during cutscenes. Welcome to the Festival of the Six Races! I'm so glad that you could come. You're always traveling to so many places, so I was worried you'd be too busy to come. You seem busy as ever, excellent.
Uh, I'm not nearly as mad. Oh, wait. Wow. Okay. Yeah. See, this is an instance of where I had to point my phone at the screen when I originally played this. Whereas now that we have the translation, they just spoil that immediately. <laughs> Looks like Xion left. That's so like him. By the way, the Six Kings of Astoltia's conference is being held. Oh, the, the celebration of the six races is being held in the Great Hall. And it's been quite heated. It seems that, okay, no, that was correct. Wait, no, this is translated by hand. So yeah, that's that's me trying to fix something that isn't broken. It seems there's still time There's still time before the ball. I hope you don't mind staying on the ship for a while longer. I've reserved a room on the second level of the ship just for you. The maid there will show you around. All right, then. I've got to go get my... Speaking with excellent. I've got to go get ready myself. See you later. Yeah, no, like, Xion pissed me the hell off the first time. He was like, you get away from her, you creep. And then it's like, nope, they spoil it immediately. The only mystery was a language barrier originally. I'm aware, Draco. I am aware. We all know about the, the funny bent wing. Oh, the Grand Titus, I have missed you. All right, we should check where we are. We are level 94. Are we at level cap? That would be really inconvenient. We are not at level cap. I'm assuming we're one away, so we can probably break said level cap. Have you heard the words level cap enough yet? But yes, to hammer that home, Soul Master, indeed, you can play with friends. This is Nuiki. I'm going to call Nuiki a bitch. And by extension, he's going to say something mean back. <laughs> I don't know if he has it muted. <laughs> I think he, does Nick just have audio? I don't even know if he has audio. I'm pretty sure he's still at work, but he's in chat. So thanks again, Nick. Oh. Yes. Hello, puppy. Ugh. Both of you getting put out of the room? Lamp. Yeah, I just have a whole lamb in my house, don't worry. I'm super in the ghetto. <laughs> the text AI. Connie! Welcome, excellent. My name is Connie, and I'll be your hostess during the Six Species Festival. And Lucia asked me to treat treat you with the utmost respect as her dear friend. The wardrobe, in the wardrobe by the entrance, there is a costume that Anne Lucia prepared for you. Please have a look at it. There is still some time before the ball, so if you'd like, you can sleep in the bed until the time comes. Not yet, I still have more people to talk to. I'm so nervous that I rushed you, excellent. If you would like to go to sleep, please feel free to call on me. I wanted to look at the cake. The model of a luxurious ship is labeled the first Grand Titan. Oh, I could have sworn that was a cake. Was I wrong? I remember that being a cake. No, was left in the wardrobe. Here are the suits prepared for excellent. If you'd like, please wear whatever you'd like. That is a big comment. Oh, wow. Uh, was it this one? Yeah, the suit. And we can also do this now. I don't think we had this. Did we have this ability when we originally played to just hide our weapons? Character, pose. Yep, this is, yep, we don't have handsome. Let's see, Titus. Ah, ha, ha, ha. What's the suit's name? 
Uh, I'd have to... Oh, do you want me to look at that again? I will look at that again. Do those need edited? I am happy to assist in whatever you need to see as I read that really long comment. There's this funny thing I read. It's used to call a chance in English. However, chanting Constantine does not always give the hero a chance. Therefore, it can be said that this current English translation, Hocus Pocus, better explains the intention of the original spell. Huh. Dracula, yeah, no, you could, you could just straight up, uh... <laughs> Woo, Burgeen? Oh, oh gosh. When your custom character is in the cutscene. Wait, isn't that... Okay. Boop, the tux, though. Gotta look slick. All right, skip forward some time. Excellent, lay down on the plush bed and fell asleep wrapped in a soft comforter. Woody Grim attire? I believe so. Hey, excellent. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, because you get the option to re recustomize your sibling at the start of version three. Halloween already? Ayo. Hello, Doug. Wait, wasn't I just on a boat? You're so carefree taking a nap. You're still sleepy, aren't you? Don't tell me you've forgotten the name and face of your own sister. Come on, try to remember. I love how disjointed this is because it's literally just, hey, uh, you haven't seen this person in like two versions. Do you want to... Want to maybe re-edit them? Please recall the name and appearance of your sister you spent the time with at the village of Ethene. Ah, uh, doop a doop a doop a dee doop a doo. This is no longer accurate. Where are what what hair does she currently have? I think she does have this one when we did the sibling campaign. The funny giant haircut. Yeah, that looks right. That looks right. She has the lighter bluish green eyes than our character does. Whoa! What? Oh, f oh, god damn it! Okay. Um. Uh... Shoot. <laughs> that got deleted. Let me find a screenshot real quick. Ah, uh, what am I looking for? There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm shocked that loaded in English. What the hell? Where is it? Okay, it's this one, but I need the apostrophe. Quotations? I don't know if they call them something different. I am uncultured. Do I have to put it in myself? I never remember. There we go. Doop. Then always be sure you are clicking on the correct smiley face. I do believe that is the correct one. Where's the other one, just so I can double check? Yeah, that one's too far angled. That is indeed the correct Kana. Next, I need this one. And then I believe it is this one. I'm going to laugh. Somebody already answered in chat. Yeah. <laughs> You want the small smiley? Okay, I did do it wrong. Oh, it's this one. Boop. Thank you for catching that. Yeah, and yeah, I was already answered in chat. I was looking at a screenshot I had. Thank you very much, super fam. Where did that go? All the way down here. 
Fuck you. Okay. Gosh, though, the amount of how much easier for the most part I was able to find those, with the exception of the smiley, because I forgot there was a smaller one, is, uh... God, I just need to take my gosh dang freaking lessons and stop being a lazy piece of garbage. Right there! <laughs> you can't change this again till version 5. Are you sure you want this? Yeah, no, I didn't know it replaced it there either. I'm actually kind of shocked. And then it immediately like, you can't write in English. What are you? <laughs> Good, you remembered. How... Yeah, no, sister, I may be sleep taking a nap in the sun, but I'm not that delirious. I was afraid you'd forgotten me, but you'll always be my little brother. The time I spent with this vi with you in this village is truly irreplaceable. Since you left, since I left you behind that day and was transported into the far past, a lot of things have happened. Oh, I forgot that this was more of a prophetic dream than a... That's right. So many things. And I keep thinking about them over and over again. I realize that it's all your fault. That I had to go through such pain. Except they don't actually think that. Excellent. Excellent. Are you okay? It looked like you were having a terrible nightmare. Oh, that's right. It seems the preparations for the ball have finished. It's being held in the Great Hall. You can get there through the door straight across from this room. If you'd like, you can wear one of the outfits that Lady and Lucia has prepared for you in the wardrobe over there. Lady and Lucia has really been looking forward to the ball with you. Please have fun and enjoy yourselves. Oh, I just realized I don't have a party. <laughs> I can't remember if there's a boss fight here. You are excellent, aren't you? I see that you're working hard to keep peace in the world these days. I'm here of a member of the Armamentalist Corps and to protect Queen Dior. Minister Kutch. I don't know why she thought an eggplant costume was a good idea. I'm pretty sure everything but the tux is a joke. Well, the tux and the, uh, the nicer looking ones. Oh, ec hey, that's appropriate. Lord Excellent, at last, the ball is about to begin. Hmm. That's my door opening sound. Do you like it? As expected, the princess chose that outfit. Uh. If you say so, bud. Is a tux. Will you enter the ballroom right now? Yes. Please enjoy. Alright, here's where we start getting better lighting and, uh more dynamic camera angles because we are officially in HD territory. Version 3 released simultaneously on the Wii and I think other platforms for the first time. Ah, excellent. There you are. Welcome to the festival of the six races. Let us enjoy ourselves this fine evening. And Lucia has been very much looking forward to this day to the attend the ball with you. Largely ignorant. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Ignorant of the history, I should specify, since I'm not showing chat. <laughs> Tonight's celebration is open to all of the kings of Astoltia. Hey, remember that time I got brainwashed and almost killed you? Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> hey, oh, I always forget that they're, they're, they're uncle and nephew. The uh, two Pukus. Hey! Moonis! Wahaha! <laughs> What a feast it is, eh, Arios? I can't get enough of it! Well, if it isn't Munis, you seem to be in high spirits. Ah, it's you, Exelin, the one who saved my life. Hey, no fair. I want to reminisce with Exelin about great times together, too. Now, now, Munis. Exelin is the other special guest of honor for tonight's festivities, after all. There 
there's still some time before the ball is to start. I think it's a good chance to introduce yourself to the other kings as the hero's ally. Don't you agree? Ah, oh, yes, yes. That's a splendid idea. I'll be waiting for you, excellent. With my generic old man voice that I use for everyone. Buttons. Welcome to the ball. It seems that Princess and Lucia is currently engaged with a secret guest. Please feel free to wait until the princess. Oh no! Wait, no, that's not. That's not right. Is engaged in a secret. Get ready. She's playing Mega Man X4 and it's still loading. The, the ready hasn't appeared yet. Captain Nogato. Ah, oh, excellent. It's a relief to see a familiar face at the ball. I'm here to escort the king, but I'm not used to such pomp and circumstance. Until we're back in cutscene, we can turn the chat back on. It's also the last on the Wii. Yes, that is correct, Draco. Lucenda! I've asked the other members of the Crown of Wisdom to show up to the festival, but they are all born to be windbags! I was fascinated by the country of Granzadoria and vowed to share its destiny with them. But they are all rootless, the opposite of me, and that's a problem. The Queen Julia. This piece was won by you, Excellent, and my two precious children who risked their lives for it. It fills me with, with the weight of what a precious and irreplaceable time we have. And this is so much easier and more compelling to go and just talk to a random person than me having to go, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to do this for every single person I talk to. It's a miracle, chat. <laughs> really set at home just how much simpler this is where, if I remember correctly, Nick had to convince me to talk to everybody the first time around because I was getting tired of pointing my phone at the screen for things that weren't story quests. Woohoo! Excellent! I've been waiting for you! The food here is delicious! I can't stop my hands! What's more, the first shiny melon, which you brought back with you and grew in our country, is being served as an ingredient. The sweetness is abundant, and the juice is truly a dessert's treasure. A desert treasure. I'm already a mellow mellow! I've even shared it with King Arios. I've always wanted to sit down and talk with you over a feast like this. It's a good day indeed, Excellent. Using, I greeted King Munis. Only some minor. Yeah. I remember using Akmon on. Akmon. Nowhere near as inconvenient as a phone, and really being able to effectively play a laptop because of how much real estate the black box is. Yeah. No love, Holy Melon. I was hoping you'd bring that up, Draco. I have that saved somewhere. Only wasn't. No, yeah, no, there was probably a couple instances. Gosner, hunting buddies! He's your hunting buddy. You go hunting with this guy. Mm. Sorry, Excellent. We were just talking about King Bagudo and the Sage Malin case. I never thought that that necklace the Sage gave me would make me lose my mind. I never thought that King Bagudo would even try to wage war. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the guys at Glen would lose. No, I'm ashamed. For me, King Gosner. King Gosner is like a mentor. I am ashamed that he would turn his back. I would turn my back on a country that I owe so much. It's all right. Our precious bond has been preserved by Excellent here. We ogre. Finally, right. revived an age of peace after a long war. We are grateful to you to pr for protecting it. You greeted King Bagudo and King Gosner. Nablet and Ragus. Oh, excellent. I'm so happy to see you. This is my uncle. Hey, excellent. Thanks for the help with the Orphea thing. Oh, you two know each other? I was Ragaros's. I'm Ragaros's. That's a weird one to say plural. Ragaros is possessive. I mean, chaperone today. He was half-lying, saying he's never been to a ball before. Uncle Nablet, you promise not to tell that. Sorry, sorry. I just can't get the image out of my head. 
of when you were, you were a kid that wouldn't leave Aoi's side. He always treats me like a child, but he's a good guy who worries a lot. You greeted Prince Raguas. Put on some pants? What? Magudo? Yeah, probably. But then how's he going to freaking pile drive people in style when he needs to? Oh, Spindle, you are incorrigible. To protect all the princes and monarchs of the world, this Spindle must poison check every dish, even if it costs me my life. <laughs> Ragwis is pretty fun. Finally, we're able to get the chairman's sister back on stage. Liddy's dancing has improved a lot through the chairman's training. I hope that you're looking forward to it. Oh, right, this side quest was depressing. That side quest was so depressing. Oh my. King Wulad and Nikori. What a magnificent ship. If only our doorworm had such a magnificent vehicle. Oh, see that excellent? Oh, I see excellent. Ramiza and Dura are ever eager to meet you. The threat of the demon has passed, albeit at a cost. We dwarfs repeat our mistakes often. Yeah, you built a city in a volcano. You Pompeyed yourselves. We know the pain and move on. Greeted King Ulard. Also, you need a vehicle for Dullworm? That whole city can contract and like go underground and move. It is a digging city. It is, an in it is interesting to meet a familiar face on such a distant sea. It has been a long time, Excellent. Thanks to the work that you and Kusuke, the power of the Holy Land, has returned to the royal city, and it is in peace. And finally, Susukul Village. First of all, let's celebrate the peace of Astoltia, though, that exists now. But Ball, I only know of the Eltona style of dance. But I wonder if that will be all right. No, that's the point of mixing cultures. I would love to see your Altona dance. I would love to see your dinosaur. It does what? Dude, Lord Meru is actually a badass. Excellent is here too. It's been a while since I've seen been away from Vernard, and I feel like I'm on my honeymoon again. We were invited to this peace ceremony on behalf of the Wena Islands. I don't admire such buoyant spirits. Well, well, don't be so tense. It's a bar. And you, Dior, at dear Dior, are just worried about the prince who has been left at home. Yeah, Otis was at back at home, huh? It's absolutely not true. Don't get me wrong, Master Excellent. You have que greeted Queen Dior. You have now greeted the Seven Kings. Let's report back to Queen King Arios. I'm debating whether I want to talk about that. I haven't even started the script for that video. Eh, questions for later. I've been watching you from here, Excellent. I see you've finished greeting all of the other kings. Thank you very much indeed. As I watched you talk with all of the kings, I just think about how far you've traveled to be where you are now. Now then, at last, let the ball finally begin. They're not like my dramatic pose. I've been practicing it all week. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> it's
It's such a good shot, Drago. see her enter due to the way the balcony is? The dance with an NPC regardless of... Yeah. At least let your player's jaw hit the floor. Come on. Toma, we're here to see this. God, I love King Moonis so much. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, that's rare. Ah, oh, come Exelon, now it's your turn to dance with her. But you'll never get to do so because of the Square Enix get the Dragon Quest devs are very, very mean. I don't want- I didn't want to see you like this, Exelon. Just four more. And Lucia! Let them go! You're supposed to pull out the sword as you jump? Yeah, she was not prepared. And Lucia! Suddenly sibling, exactly. Ibiscate. I forgot how quick that's over. That magic animation was sick. Oh, it's really cool. 
and hilariously, not the focus of this version. That cube is not relevant until version 4. Hey! Raguus is gone too! Just now? Gossner about to be a badass. Everyone, calm down. So both Princess and Lucia and Prince Raguus were kidnapped. How bold of them to attack the bar. They must be after those with royal blood. And Lucia and Raguus, what if? If it's the younger royalty they're after, you know. Those with the future of Astoltia in their hands. I'm so glad version 3 is the end of, uh... You're gonna hear me say it a lot throughout this playthrough. Version 3 is kind of where the end of waiting in the back of the room to be addressed kind of finally ends. The Italian... Gosh dang it, Miss Dog. <laughs> he did this. But, uh, I'll be waiting for you on the back of the deck, excellent. Could mean big one in German. That is fun. But yeah, you'll hear, again, I'll, you'll hear me say it a lot throughout this playthrough, but uh, versions one through three have a lot of ten, the 10th hero being the master of standing in the back of the room and waiting to be addressed. And version three is where your character will slowly, slowly start to be more proactive during cutscenes, with a lot of them in version four. And I think where it ultimately makes its head in version 5, which has some of the coolest animated sections for your character. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's terrible shaking. It seems hopeless. Sister Lee... Leon... Lee... Lee Lina. Please forgive my earlier lack. Overcomes being an edgelord. I don't know if it's so much of an edgelord as, uh, am I supposed to be here? Am I allowed to be here? I'm just kind of in here while political jargons are going on in this throne room. Oh, God, he looked at me. Uh, quick. Quick, what do I do? What did I come here for? Key emblem? Key emblem. All right. <laughs> Back of the deck, right? That's where we're going? No, it's the front of the deck. My B. I was just watching some old guy eat from a bento box on a haunted train, and now I'm talking to the kings of the world. Accurate. <laughs> and then the next time you go talking to that old guy, he takes away your Rubik's Cube and sends you back in time. <laughs> Drag Quest 10 out of context is probably one of my favorite things. When you get dumb lines like that, where it's like, what? What the hell does that mean? You know, uh, I'll have to find the comment on YouTube. I got a comment once that was talking about just how insane some of the things the 10th hero goes through in context. What are you doing here? Excellent, are you hurt? You're hurt? The lightning just now gave me an idea for a new story. I'm in big trouble if I don't get home soon to write it down. I'm sure they have paper on board. The boat is in, uh, was moving in the wind. I'm afraid I might have to leave. It, you can't just leave a boat when we're this far out, pal. I mean, I can, because I have zoomstones, but... Ooh, I wonder if the captain has any unique text. I don't know if we looked originally. Freaking space battleship Yamato looking. <laughs> we have just received word of a kidnapping at the ballroom. On this voyage, we had taken every precaution to ensure that not even a rat could get in. And yet, here we are. Where in the world did bandits come from in the middle of the ocean? Nature's fortress? In the middle of the ocean, nature's own fortress. 
Yeah, I don't know if any amount of precaution you could take you could take would be able to stop somebody who can literally just warp in time. Okay, Shion. Time to reveal the obvious, not actually a secret secret. Oh, didn't even get up the stairs. Is it just me or those flags running at a lower frame rate? You seen this, Shion? This could spell the beginning of a disaster. I'm ashamed that I let the hero get taken away, even while I was there. I changed into a human form to avoid startling any of the guests. I'm sure you've already figured it out. My real name is Falchion, the Pegasus you know very well. I am unable to use my full power in this form, and then Lucia took with her the only way for me to change back. You remember that pendant I gave to her? It was my only way of transforming. That person who appeared at the ball, you know who they are too, don't you? I knew it. It was Destel, wasn't it? It's just when I was... Oh, right. Just like when I was the Galapa God in the village, watching over you and your siblings. They were supposed to have been transported into the distant past by your power, but... No. They too have the blood of Ethene in their veins. I'm sorry for the interruption. But I must speak to Exelin about an urgent matter. Please come to Varanod Castle as soon as the ship returns to the harbor. When Lucia and Ragwis were captured, the kidnapper said, just four more. They may still be planning something. And if the roy young royalty really are being targeted, then Prince Otis would also be one of those targets. You should go, Exelin. You may find more clues about Destel. Great change is upon this world, and we entrust our hope to you once again. Excellent. Once more, the time has come to depart. Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to forget that the that Falchion was the turtle. <laughs> hey man, you ever just watch a turtle turn into a Pegasus? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, the V three intro. It's like my favorite one. Love, love this intro. This is the one that really does, for me, give the, uh, that feeling that I feel Dragon Quest X is all about. Just the hanging out with your bros, taking on giant monsters, exploring the world. You ready to get the turtle heart? <laughs> oh, I love this, that, this shot, this shot, before I ever played Dragon Quest X, Right there with the, the ocarina onto the dragon was the first thing for DQX I ever saw. And from that moment, I desperately wanted to play this game and didn't think I ever would. Hell, I made a post about a year before I started playing thinking I never would. Are you seriously the default pro tag? Uh, not quite. So, his eyes are very different than the ones I chose for my character, and I think I picked a slightly different taller height. I tend to design my characters closer to how I actually look, and it just kind of happened that if you were to shave my face and remove my glasses, my hair is basically the exact same part as the default look, so... <laughs> it just kind of ended up that way. And my username was already excellent before I started playing this, but I have had people ask me if the X was intentional. But God, I love the V3 intro. Oh, it's so much. Woo, right, we have the survival boss fight. There hasn't been another one of those still to this day. Exalin, Ao. E X A L I N. Excellent. Exalin. 
That'd be funnier if my name was actually Alan. That would be really funny. <laughs> Excellent. The Grand Titus returned to the harbor amidst the ripple effect of the incident. As soon as they got off the ship, the kings of each country returned to their lands as quickly as possible. Exelin and Shion headed for the East Tower of the Grand Zadoran Castle. There's 14 of us here? Really? I say, did the music break? Well, dang, 14 whole people. Welcome. <laughs> I, too, was devastated to see the celebration of the... Okay, we're not in cutscene. I can leave that on. Devastated to see the celebration of the Festival of the Six Species turn into a tragedy. In order to avoid confusion, I made sure to keep the disappearance of Anne Lucia a secret from the people in the castle. I told them that she had gone out on an expedition to defeat a demon. Both her and Prince Raguis are irreplaceable to the people. We must get them back as soon as possible. Excellent. You must first meet with the Varenard Kingdom and ask Queen Dior for a favor. I have a bad feeling that this incident will affect all of Astoltia. Besides, if you continue to pursue this case, you will cross paths with your sister again. I will stay here to protect Lindesria on behalf of the princess. I'm counting on you, Excellent. You're not going to give me a puppet of your head yet? It's later. Back on version 3. Same. And, bro, it's CQ day. I'm aware! All of the delays ended up playing in my favor! <laughs> Awkward enough to be a Tumblr sexy. Of course, it's a Tumblr. Oh, God. Yeah. Nowhere near socially awkward enough. Oh, I don't miss running around the hallways of Grand Zadora Castle. I love this castle so much, but actually getting around it is a giant pain in the rear. <laughs> Excellent, I'll be fine. Please bring her back to us again. You got it. You know, I don't think I've ever watched the cutscenes from the sibling campaign on stream, which is unfortunate because contextually those are very important. Well, I guess we did when I did stream the original sibling campaign on the Wii version, but uh. I had to go back to good old-fashioned point my phone at the screen for that. Actually, I'm curious. I have to ask the Clarity team if this is something we can do. Now that we can edit the files directly in the game, I wonder if we were to track down... Oh, no, because the way you have to install that in Dolphin to even be able to play the extended campaign of the Wii version doesn't give you direct access to the ROM. Hmm. Actually livable. Yeah. Realistic castles are awful to navigate. Fair. I don't think I've ever seen them. Yeah. They, because uh, originally the sibling campaign was something you did uh, as an extended offline tutorial. On the original Wii version, it was a separate option in the menu where you can continue to follow your sibling for a bit after you completed the tutorial. And they had a separate campaign that lasts five or six hours. While the entire campaign is no longer playable, all of the cutscenes are still viewable by finding special books in the areas associated with them. Where's my medieval toilets? <laughs> Gosh, you know there's a person out there who's like obsessed with categorizing every video game toilet. It's like, does this game have a realistic toilet? Yes, no? I have most of my passives done, right? Ooh, wrong button. I think I'm missing Demon Swordsman. And, uh... Demon Swordsman, Pirate, and... Yeah, Demon Swordsman, Pirate, and... Z... Guardian. Yep, okay. So this file is not as strong as it could theoretically be. I'm sure there's a hole in the ground somewhere. Ew. I think one of my favorite things to talk about for the English tools is when we got those up and running with the, uh, 
as much as like it still kind of sucks that books and stuff will still be machine translation with the glossary obviously as always it's better than it would be but just actually being able to read those on a shelf is so good just pick a book up oh i always do that i'm always like that's the long hallway that's where we go right no that's to the performance stage yeah like when the tools were first available that was the first thing i did was grab a book off the shelf and go i can read Wait, what? No obsessive, overly obnoxious waterfall sound effect in the Varenard throne room? Blasphemy. Oh, excellent. My apologies for calling you away from, for, from so far away. Please come here. Hey, that's right. The disguise. <laughs> Long time no see, excellent. I'm glad to see that you're doing well. Oops, I'm sorry. It's me, Otis. You probably didn't recognize me in these clothes, right? Sorry, I don't dress to your standards. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk badly about how you dress. I apologize if I offended you. Huh, it's fine. I don't really care either way. That's enough, you two. Excellent. Let me explain what our current plan is. Princess and Lucia and Prince Ragus is kidnapping. I'm sure you've not forgotten what you witnessed on the Grand Titus. The kidnapper muttered the words, just four more, before they left. They seem to be after each country's heir to the throne. Heir. Yeah. If I'm right, then Otis is one of the four being targeted. Bernard Kingdom has an excellent force of armamentalists, but right now they are busy with an important mission that for some reason, despite being the queen, I cannot call them back from. I ordered the armamentalists to travel to each country on high alert. However, I wanted to be prepared for every possible scenario. Never mind, if she called it, then it doesn't matter. Therefore, I came up with this plan. You ever seen the prince in the poppet? I mean, what? Therefore, I came up with this plan. Otis will have a double acting as in his stead. At first, I offered to take the role using royal makeup techniques to look like him. But, well, uh, it can't mask my body shape. It was difficult to find someone who not only looked like Otis, but who was as skilled as him too. No need to introduce us. I've known Excellence since we were little kids. You noticed, right? It's me, Husa. I do believe this text actually changes if you uh, are not playing Weddy. Too much I do about nothing, yeah. Well then, you two already know each other. That sure is a coincidence. This will be quick then. I'd like to ask you to guard Husa, acting as the prince for the time being. I told her no, but it's pretty hard it's pretty hard to refuse something from the queen herself. Although, it might be fun to catch that kidnapper while he tries coming after me. Mother, I did as you asked and switched places with Mr. Husa, but I still don't agree with this plan of yours. I just can't bear the thought that someone else is risking their life for me. When you decided to become king, you decided that your life no longer belongs to only you. It belongs to all of the people of Varenard. Well, that's... that's true, but... I understand. I'll pose as a traveler and walk around the castle. I must test if anyone can recognize me as the prince. All right. You'll be safe around the castle. Be careful not to reveal yourself. Yeah, no, she does have a point. Oh, wait! Ugh. Come to think of it, isn't today Otis's singing teacher? Isn't today the day Otis's singing teacher is supposed to come to the castle? Oh, that was today, wasn't it? I think it might be too much to ask of Husa. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but do you think you could go to Otis, Otis's room and keep that teacher occupied for a while? We'll need to sing... <laughs> we'll need some time to teach Husa how to act properly as royalty. Thank you so much. Otis's room is on the second floor on the east side. The teacher might already be there, so please hurry. This guy has such a fantastic design. <laughs> I remember. I remember this guy. He can't, he can't sing. Do it, ew. Cannot wait, yeah. Whew. BRB chat. Oh, 
I can pause recording now. Oh, that's how I can pause. Okay. Sorry about that. Press that again. I'm gonna try to reattempt to take that swing. I'm going to uh, reject that stretch. Actually, I just took my uh, my dogs out as I stepped out and ran around for five five seconds as I swapped my shirt. <laughs> Sudden Craven for Tot Nacho struck me. No. Okay, where were we going? Otis's teacher. Got, I just got Joker, so I'll be playing that shortly for the the first time. One hour. Oh, I did hear about that. Afro Mustache Man, who thinks he's the hottest thing to watch, Castoltia? First of all, the quality of the singer's voice is the most important part about singing. Getting into the rhythm comes after. Oh, I see. Well, I really don't understand. Nonsense! You have a pretty good voice. Here, why don't you let me teach you? Huh? I thought you were the prince, but it looks like I was wrong. Oops. My name is Bardi Barito. The queen herself asked me to teach the prince how to sing. But the prince never showed up. So now I have a lot of free time. Well, that's fine. Since you're here, I'd like to share with you a story of mine. The best. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent suffered through Barito's terrible and long-winded story. Suffered. And that's why... Oh, if it isn't Prince Otis, I've been waiting for you. My name is Barito, and I'm here to teach you to sing. Uh, thank you for coming all the way here, M Mr. Barito, sir. No need for such formalities. It is an honor to be able to teach the next king the Song of Grace. Now then, let us begin the lesson. First, we will start with a vocal exercise. Lesser, lesser leather, never weathered, wet o oh god, Le I, I can't do this one in a voice. I'm gonna try anyway. Lesser leather, never weathered, wetter weather, better. Now you try. Um. Hey, what's wrong? Repeat after me. Lesser leather, never weathered, better. <laughs> lesser leather, never weathered, wetter weather, better. Vibration video, even without the teaser. <coughs> I'm sorry. I seem to have a bit of a cold. 
You'll never improve if you let something like a cold stop you. Now then, after me. Lesser leather never weathered wetter wetter- Oh god, I can't. Ugh, sorry, I need to go. <laughs> they sped up the animation. I forgot. <laughs> what? Even if you're the prince, there's no way I'm letting you run away from my lessons. Get back here! Lesser leather never wetter 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 wetter. Is something wrong with the prince? He never said anything about a cold. And to behave like that around a guest. But maybe he didn't want to be taught by that teacher, so he ran off. I wasn't really a fan of that teacher either. We make news. Drop the DK Day infinitely stretch trailer. Yeah. For th oh god. Yeah, luckily the robot uprising will have happened by then, so we'll all live to see it, right? The prince went to his room. He came back and jumped into the study area. Did something happen again? Most troublesome things are happening. The prince gets ahead of himself in various ways. I admit he's motivated, but... I guess expect a shadow drop. For Dragon Quest 3? Mm. Ironically, the only reason there's a chance for that is because if you give it a predetermined date, one of the most famous things to ever happen was that 300 plus students played Truant the day Dragon Quest III released. Reveal it on September 25th, revealing 3HD was actually a monster skin the whole time. Dude, I'm actually kind of mad that Infinity Strash comes out the same day as East 10. I'm kind of pissed. So, uh, you lose him? <laughs> he looks so tired. Oh, it's you. I looked pretty lame back there, didn't I? Actually. Who the hell are you? I just realized I still don't have a party. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like we're surrounded. Did the kidnappers send them? Damn. Looks like we have no choice. I'll take care of these ones. You handle the ones over there. If you can read what they're actually saying through those ellipses, it summons the Reggies. All right, to be fair, I think the level cap was still lower than what I currently have. Maybe not. Oh, boy. Yep, ah, oh, fat rip. Okay, what a way to start. Let's go get that party I don't have. Oops. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were in indeed made. Uh, I don't have a monster on this file, do I? I don't. And I have like nothing in my master orbs. Oh boy. Wow, this is actually terrible. <laughs> oh, no, I have jack squat on this file. Ooh, that's ugh, gross. Uh, in front of the tavern. Why you never go out without a party? I mean, eh. Seriously, monsters look like cousins from Whispers from the Yokai Watch, AO.
All right, let's fix that. A proposed teams? Oh, right, I'm not on a team. Okay, on this file. From friends. Well, let's just do double excellent. list a minstrel, armamentalist, druid, sage, priest, druid, armamentalist, battlemaster. Nope, okay, job. would probably still be higher than where I need it. Okay, that has been fixed. I'm so glad they added this warp. <laughs> this warp was not here. The, uh, the Queen's Throne when we originally played through version 3. Is this still during the era of the, oh man, I, I saw you just ate shit, but welcome back. Yep, okay, it's still during that era. Some of the later stuff, the stakes get high enough where you can't lose, they don't have that. Get over here, hey, what do you think you're doing? Get over here and help me out. Yeah, boomerangs are great in DQX. Hey, I brought back up, thanks for holding them off. All right, let's try that again. Well, item master is good. I wouldn't know. Wait, yeah, no, Destin doesn't have any armor, does she? Hilarious. Let's get away from that. The big banger. Yeah. That death never happened. Freaking Otis, not Otis, Yuza turns around like, whoa, where did they come from? Gasp, he was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. A piece of paper turns into a monster. Never seen anything like that before. I found you! Oh, I finally found you. Oh, damn it. How dare you run away from me? Just for that, I'm going to make your lesson even more difficult. Because I am a high school teacher, and I do my job like I do my actual care for children. A.K.A. not at all. Mmm. Mmm. Since we're already here, you should sing in front of everyone on the balcony. Uh, I can't do that. I really am sorry for running away. Just don't make me do this. It's too late for apologizing now. Come on. It's ma not princely to just stand around. Now let's get singing. I don't care what you say. I just can't sing. 
Fine. If you insist, I'll sing. But I don't blame me for what happens, got it? I forget if he gets, like, super laughed at. Like how people just instinctually seem to know how to line up. Was that today? Look at that one kid in the front. I forget, can Husa actually sing? Was that the catch or was it really bad? A terrible otherworldly sounding song echoed throughout the town. He mute, yeah. The people who had gathered in front of the castle stared at one another, speechless, as they continued with their day. Oh god, it's Organization 13. But they joined the Knights of the Blood Oath for some reason. Grenzadora's prince and Magistress's prince. So number three of the, is the Prince of Varenard. Is it? I won't fail this time. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, what in the world was that? I've never heard such a terrible song in my entire life. This is out of my hands. Tell the queen I can no longer teach you. Oh, there is nothing wetter than what I just heard. Forget the leather. But you're the one who forced me to sing. I tried to warn you. What a wimp. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't care less about that teacher, but I think we should let the queen know about those monsters we saw. Absolutely cursed. <laughs> Black chest. Seems to be a challenge. Yeah. You were expecting different with that haircut combined with that mustache? The look is fine, he just can't pull it up. It's a good fit, he just wasn't in. However the phrase goes, I don't know. <laughs> Why did I bother turning my camera back on? We're going back into a cutscene, like by the time I walked out that hall. Oh, I associate Froze with Bob Ross when it comes to art, so yes, a. Eh? No, now the waterfall sound is here. Torture. Oh, this isn't even cutscene. I heard the report from Husa. I'm sure we can assume that someone released a demon to kidnap Otis. We didn't expect to be attacked inside the castle. I've instructed the guards to increase security around. By the way, Exelon, I've decided to host a dinner party to welcome Husa and teach him the manners of dining. I would like to invite you to this party. I thought it would be easier for Husa to react, relax if he had someone he knew. The seating has always be, already been prepared. Please you make your way to the cafeteria on the second floor. I forgot about this. Yeah, the waterfall, man. Suck to Celia. You are so unconsequential after version one. Do you like waterfalls? I love waterfalls. Just tell me where it is and I'll stop complaining. Where's the waterfall? Why is that sound effect even here? <laughs> Will there be different kinds of meal at the dinner party? I'm looking forward to it. Did you start? I did. My main file and my alt. Actually, all my files are wetty. I've been meaning to start an o ogre file. Gotta have a waterfall, yeah. <laughs> did nothing wrong. Fish gang, ayo. I, I am on the five, I'm like, I'm paying a little bit more for my subscription because I'm on the five character course. I'm probably going to start another one relatively soonish. By relatively soonish, I mean however much longer I procrastinate my second file that is in my party and actually get that to decent stats. But, uh... The waterfall is you. You are 80% water. It's just all of my insides falling to my feet, don't worry. 
Join the ogre gang. <laughs> See, this room has a waterfall. It's more of a faucet, but that's still water, and it is falling. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just mum mumbling to myself. No need to be shy, excellent. Please sit anywhere you'd like. Didn't you just tell me the seating was already arranged? Don't you walk away from me. Next ramble. <laughs> I remember this scene being a disaster as well. I don't remember. Got it. As the princess's double, you must learn the proper manners at the dinner table. Well, Otis's manners are already not that great, so you don't need to worry too much. That's not true, father. My manners are perfectly fine. <laughs> All right, right, if you say so. Or damped the touch. That is something I actually have wondered myself. Um, sorry, but the food is getting cold, so let's not talk for too much longer. I do not want to know, Ao. Yes, silly is right. Let's eat. Little chubby guy is his father. Yes, and he's actually a badass. Weddy men are taught to be absolute of royalty, are taught to be super proficient with the sword. He's actually a badass. <laughs> See, Husa, this is how you hold a knife and a fork. You use them just like this. Yes. yes. <laughs> Lord Meru taught Husa this and that about the finer details of dining. Excellent enjoyed a sumptuous meal with Farinard's royal, t royal family. He's also a bro. Like, the few quests you get to interact with Lord Meru are some of the better ones for the wedding. He has no reason to be that cold, but he totally is. I remember popping off during that side quest where it's like, what the heck? Why is he so cool? Oh, by the way, Celia, you're not wearing those fashionable sandals I gave you. I'm sorry. I'm just not used to wearing those kinds of things. You shouldn't be so unreasonable, father. You should expect Sil you should respect Celia's culture. She isn't used to this time period after all. Oh, but who was it who made me change the sandals I picked only because he said they'd look better on her, hmm? Uh, um, well... So the prince picked them out. You both have my utmost thanks. To the queen as well. I don't tell you to this, but those boots Celia has, I gave them to her as a gift. Oh, my, my, what a surprise! I guess we're just one big like-minded family. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Did he not enjoy the food? No, I don't think it was the food. It was delicious. I'm not sure why, but it seemed like he was upset by something. Maybe I didn't teach him well enough. Anyway, we can't let him go off on his own. Excellent. I'm not sure why, but apparently I've made Husa upset. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but would you go and find him? It would be better if you did it anyway, being acquainted and all. I'll return to the throne room after we finish teasing. You see, if you see Husa, please tell him to join us there. Yeah, sorry, o orphan boy didn't like family time, despite sort of having a found family himself. You big softy wimp. Not even an old man yet, so he's not achieved natural obesity. Oh, yeah. I really feel for Husa. He's just, no, this is about sitting around. Probably the whole raised as an orphan thing. Yeah. No. No, he's not. He is slightly uncomfortable in family matters. More so, I think, just the richer side of it. Talking about expensive gifts and all that could pro honestly make anyone a little awkward. But, and even then, Husa has a bit of a found family himself with... God, what's her name? I always forget. The little girl and the cat. 
I'll take a shot. It's playing Remembrance. Ugh. So, uh, you good, bro? Ah, it's you. <sighs> I showed you my lame side again, huh? Truth is, I couldn't stand being there anymore. Just kind of stood up and left without thinking. Having a meal together with your family like that, I've never done it before. I didn't think I could ever get used to it. I don't even remember my parents. I lived with my grandpa as far back as I can remember. Then grandpa died, and I was taken at the orphanage in Lane Village. I was able to become friends with you and Ashik, but seeing them like that made me realize that family is a whole different thing. It's just not for me. I'm not sure why I'm talking your ear off about all this stuff, but you're the only person I can really talk to. Anyways, <clears throat> now that dinner's over, I'd better get back to the throne room. Now you do your job and escort me. This might be your last chance. <laughs> the heart to heart we have later in this version somehow even then still tops this. Needs a hug, actually lots of them. He does. I've been here, oof, Zans. To the gasp, corpse run is here. Also, am I the only one who's thrown off by the whole white eyebrows? Ayo. <laughs> I think it's weirder when, like, your hair color doesn't match the eyebrows. Maybe not so much in a more anime-ish setting like Dragon Ball, but perfect example for how absolutely god-awful the live-action Full Metal Alchemist is. That first movie where they didn't color his eyebrows with the god-awful wig makes it so much worse. And make no mistake, it's bad in the first place, but ugh, the whole time. I'm staring at this kid's black eyebrows with his awful g blonde wig. I couldn't even make it like 30 minutes into that movie, man. It was so bad. <laughs> Snow, ew. Yeah, no, there's a live action Full Metal Alchemist games fan and it's ter there's three of them and they're all bad. Don't, don't bother. Apologies for the trouble, Exelon. As you can see, Hughes has returned. He apologized for leaving and said he would continue acting as Otis's double. Now then, here's what we're going to do. Uh, please excuse me. I have a report from the Royal Survey Team. I'm also very drunk. No, 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 don't mind me. Is this urgent? If not, it can wait. What we found could be a threat to the kingdom. No, to all of the Wayne Islands. Why did you give me this voice? Then I will listen. Please give me your report, Air Ego. Oh, yes. Um, uh, during our recent, recently started survey inside the Juliadia Tower ruins, we discovered a tablet. Our tests have shown that it's made of an unknown material. Furthermore, the following text is inscribed on its surface. I will read you now what it says. A door that can only be opened by one of Varenard's royal blood. Beyond it lies a crimson pot with great terror sealed within. The great terror shall soon awaken and all of the islands will be swallowed by the sea. The end of the Wena Isseri is nigh. Hmm, sounds like some sort of warning. You don't think that a powerful monster like Bogan is sleeping in those ruins, do you? Well, we don't have any proof. However, there are many mechanisms inside the ruins that make it difficult to explore. Oh, this dungeon is great. Oh my gosh. And since there are doors that can only be opened by the royal family, we are unable to investigate further. That's why I came here. I see. We don't have any proof, but we can't let that stop us from taking action. We will decide how to handle this matter. Until then, please suspend the investigation. Thank you for your report, Ergio. Er Ergio? Er Ergio? Erigio? Erego? Lego my Erego? Yes, your majesty. You'll excuse me. 
And I don't know how to pronounce my name. Mother, I can't just sit back and ignore this. I'll go to the ruins with the survey team. If user goes, the door won't open, right? But if you go dressed like that, everyone will know that you're a double. Husa and I can go together then. Everything should be fine. But what if what the Sablet said is true? And there really is a monster sealed inside. Not to mention the kidnapper targeting you. Have you forgotten about the hero who even defeated the tyrant Bogan? Exlin can come with us as well. I see. That might just work. If the kidnapper does show up, we'll catch them there. We can finally ditch these disguises. If that sealed monster really does exist, Exlin and I should be able to beat it no problem. As the ruler of this land, I cannot ignore the threats against it for the sake of my son. Will you go, Exelin? If there truly is a monster sealed in the ruins, I ask that you defeat it. Please, Exelin. You're the only person I can ask who knows the situation. We shall prepare quickly and head for the ruins. The Julieta Tower ruins are located deep within the lower Jewel Island. You can get there from the north side of Gillette. Please hurry. I'm very glad that uh, he's uh, wants some backup. Uh, hmm. Yeah, if you want to meet me in front of the door, I'll, I'll, I'll throw somebody in the party. I cannot leave the queen's side, so I'll leave this to you, Excellent. As Cilia continues to stand in the back of the room and do nothing. Uh, in front of Gillette, so it's actually going to be easier to work there. I'm so, I'm so fucking high right now, your majesty. You have no idea. I am not exactly sure what it is, but I definitely, I picked up this rock and there were like some spores and they came out of the ground. And now I'm seeing moon runes on this tablet and a prophecy. Is that normal? I, I, I really shouldn't be here, should I? PBE is so bad and it's almost good again. PBE? Not sure what that is. No way, a figment of the forgotten past. There you go. Is the alchemy pot new? Oh, dragon. Oh, oh god. Oh, I did not need to remember what that is. I, I regret asking. Oh, wait. North. North! This map is weird! You know what? Actually, hold on. I'm stupid. I can just... Oh, wait. That's in Gillette. Oh. Right. I forgot that is there, too. Suffer. Yeah. <laughs> Will this take me right in front of that door, or is it just going to take me back to the entrance I came in? Yep. Okay. I always forget Gillette technically has a north entrance because it's just this one cave. Like, it's the cave that connects to these ruins, and that is it. That is all that is over here. It's the only thing. I was about to say, what's your text? But then it's a side quest that I don't really want to get involved with right now. Ah, this and the secret swim spot. Yep, there is a secret little outcove right around that bend. Can we do bike? Can we do bike in here? We can do bike. Woo! Oh god, I oh wait, no, never mind. Never mind. Two fuel bars is normal. What isn't do I have the boost? I don't have the boost. Oh gosh. Never mind, the DQX machine broke. Rip. Oh, oh, static. Ooh. Everything going wrong for multiple people all at once. All right, let me know if the static is gone. I don't have the upgrade boost. Also, I forget how much it's going to cost me to change this to the proper color. Woo. Technical difficulties. Hey, at least one of them isn't black screening anymore. Those days are luckily gone. Silver cape? What about silver cape? 
Oh, silver color on the on the bike. Like on my main file, my bike is more of a whitish silver. Cause I uh, I went full light cycle vibe with it, and I really wanted it to be uh, the Tron Legacy Flynn white light cycle that he's just got in the background for half of that movie that he never uses. Weirdly cute. Oh, is that the silver cape enemy? Uh, silver swordsman. Did I get MP back on that? No, I'm missing MP. I don't have that orb. That is something I need to fix off stream is getting the MP on enemy kill orb. That thing is borderline essential. If it's not too difficult to get, I don't remember where it is. Maybe I'll go hunt for it before we uh, start the recording of uh, the next part of version three. With an iron sword, yeah. <laughs> We are an hour and 41 minutes into this archive. I don't want to go too far. God, I love this dungeon so much. I'm trying to shorten the length of the archives. I really am. But I have a feeling, since I didn't stop after, after the Grand Titus, we're going to go over that two-hour mark for the first version 3 archive. And then you all run. Oh, excellent. It's good to see you. Now then. God, I, the, oh, and this dungeon looks cool at the beginning, but wait till it's finished. You're my bodyguard, right? I don't think you should be making orders. He's having way more fun with this than he's letting on. Uh, right, sorry about that. I already know Excellent here, but who is this person? He is one of my bodyguards. He's very skilled and trustworthy, so no need to worry about him. Trying to give my Hughes a voice and Otis impression is difficult. Now then, let's look for the door mentioned on the tablet. The only one royalty can open. Erigio, please lead the way. I looked around the ruins and avoided touching anything suspicious. Except that mushroom. I have not been the same since, but I was able to find that door. However, I did confirm that there are several bells that appear to be turning tuning forks. I believe they may be the key. We'll do another pass around the ruins. Excellent. Please look around this area. So are we just not going to talk about the funny glowing thing on the side of the room? No? Okay, don't mind me. The water temple stand in. Well... On a small pedestal... Archaic script is inscribed. Excellent read the words on the pedestal. So I can read archaic script, I guess. I am the barrier of sound. I am the one who bears and conveys the three sounds of joy, sorrow, and happiness. He who seeks the way, take me in your hand. Let the bells ring and let sound reside in me. And let my friends know the sound they should hear. The tuning fork on the pedestal looks removable. Would you like to bring the tuning fork? Not yet. I need to talk to this ghost because the 10th hero can do that. Oh yeah, it's real good. I see. You can see the departed. But this is a forgotten prison. All that swirls around is resentment and cont contrition. Unless you have something to do, you should not stay long. From thousand... <laughs> you know what still like I'm not the person who complains about DQ later parts of DQ 10 and all of DQ to 11 reusing a lot of music but one of the pieces of music that DQ 11 did reuse is for the version 1 final dungeon that uses Nurgle's theme like his light motif and it just does not work as well in 11 the way it does in 10 as it builds all the way up to his battle track. Like, it's so good. Alrighty, we have Funny Fork. I forget which way we go first. 
into Funny Door. Some of them are pretty similar. On the pedestal of which is a large tuning fork stands. An archaic inscription is inscribed. Excellent read the words on the pedestal. I am a friend of pleasure. I am the one who seeks the sound of radiant rejoicing. Learning from books is the greatest joy. If we give this tuning fork a pleasure a pl pleasing sound, something could happen. I don't remember what we do here. At least for this one, yes. Uh, in terms of the dungeon one I was mentioning for version one's final castle, that one is... <laughs> yeah, mind my stutter. That one is an actual leitmotif. Oh, library is the greatest joy. <laughs> You need to punch it. I forgot there's an ancient library in here. To keep the li liberation bell from ringing. Demons. Many demons appeared. Please be careful. If you fight near the bells, you'll never escape them. This is a forgotten prison. Our lord was imprisoned for a crime he did not commit. What a pity. What a pity. The days of captivity are so futile. The only thing to do for fun here is to read through the books of this study. Many of those books have been lost, but some of them endured the passing of time and have been preserved. I hope they will be a source of wisdom to future generations. Ancient library, baby! Why over on my <laughs> Such a pit. Yeah, that's exactly why I read it that way. It looks like someone's tattered diary. I can barely read what's inside. I realize sound is, in other words, a wave. Yes, like waves on the shore, a sound is invisible. But like a wave, it spreads throughout the air. And when it reaches our ears, we hear it as sound. That is, yes, that is indeed how sound works. Wonder what that texture resolution. That texture resolution. <laughs> it's the uh the first book you pull off the shelf is the Vaporeon copy pasta, but it's a wedding. <laughs> when did they drop the Wii version for it? Yes. This book is called the Work Record Book. <laughs> The first tuning fork and the ripple was completed today. Arrangements are being made to have it transported to the Haitian Temple. Installation will begin as soon as it arrives. The following are my personal observations. Without the discovery of this site, I never would have thought of using a tuning fork to enhance the power of the Song of Grace. For my fellow weddies who lived long ago, I salute you for your great deeds as kings, as the individuals. Wait, in the individual lattice? Hold on. And as an individual lattice. God, who is lattice again? Who the hell is using such galleon books? The type of people who can afford to build a library this big for them. So royalty. <laughs> uh, we we can't confirm that. The 3DS, I want to say yes. I'm still shocked that the 3DS is even still a thing. But yeah, I really hope they drop the Wii U for, uh... No, it's just the power restrictions. But here's the irony that I don't think a lot of people realize. The Switch is less powerful than the Wii U. The Switch is actually less powerful than the Wii U. The difference is that it doesn't have to render everything on two screens, which is why most things run better on it. No escape. 
supernatural evil is castle 11. I know they use it somewhere in 11. Maybe it's not the final castle in 11, but I know they use it somewhere. Looks like someone's had her diary. Came up with the idea of using a metal rod. I thought of using a metal rod as a way to capture the sound waves. When it hit the metal rods with a sound wave, they begin to vibrate slightly. We found that they resonate with each other and that the sound lasts for a long time. Two metal bars can capture sound. I named them forks. Hmm. You know what's funnier about this, if I'm going to give a mild spoiler here? Your sibling created the tuning forks, if I'm not mistaken. No, wait, she didn't create, she fixed them. It was that when they were broken, she found a way to fix them. Or was that dull worm? Because like her time, your sibling's time travel shenanigans. I don't remember if she fixed or made them, one of the two. It's one of the two. She either, no, because I'm pretty sure she fixed dull worm because it was trapped underground. But, you mean, no, it might not be the one I think it is. I'll just have to go through and play 11 again, because I know they use it somewhere. The stupid, the ba da 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 That's used for Nurgle is, at some point, used in 11. I'm ordered to build a mechanism using a tuning fork of my own invention. I was not even told what it was for, but I have no choice but to do it. Even if it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> this is the hard part of palace service. It was like bringer of doom. You know what? Give me 15 seconds. Okay. videos. <sighs> Pucklipo, Dwarf, Totenkan, Weddy, Soprano of the Blue, Terror of the Blue, Hurry, We Are in Danger, Wandering Place to Place, LG, Visitors from Another World. Okay, Visitors of Another World does light motif it. Let me, where's my desktop audio? Then there's the actual. Town, my dream room, empty lane, slumbering, alchemy pot, boogie woogie in the bar, mysterious shrine, great panic, selling in the sky, not unseen danger, with all my mind, blessing on Lucia, invitation to come back to the house, monsters in the whatever that word is, racing hard, my loved ones soaring in the sky, remembrances, goofy monsters, chanting battle for glory, is from five, four, is from four, a dungeon with no escape. Yeah, they use it a bit here. It's very subtle, but it is light motifed in Dungeon with No Escape. And I believe it's fight, fight with the spirit most evil. Yeah, so like all of that kind of builds up into Nurgle's theme. Yeah, no, but, uh... <laughs> Turn off desktop audio. Dream of Doom is the best track in 11. That is a good one. Anyway, I was, oh, you missed all of it. I just played the songs. <laughs> oh, what a bad time. 
Oh my gosh. In fact, man. <laughs> Uh, rip. There's a big bell marked Yoribi no Khan. Kane? Khan? Bell of joy. Would you like to ring it? Hit me. Fight me. So then ring the bell of rejoicing. Bells ring out, creating a sunny atmosphere in the area. Kane. The tri-tuning fork that Exelon has began to resonate with sound. Excellent remembered the tri-tuning fork resonates with the sound of joy. Ayo, yes, at the same time. No monsters attacked? Let's see, and then it's after I bring this back over here that it should... We'll get the first big change to the dungeon. Oh, wow, we passed the two-hour mark by 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Once I start, I know it'll be in my routine, and that's the problem. I just gotta start. Rile me up. I mean, yeah. Okay, we already read this. Boop. Excellent took his tri-tuning fork and slowly moved it closer to the large tuning fork. The two tuning forks began to resonate. All right, cool. We just need to go to each statue of Din, Nairu, and Fior. I mean... The sound of rejoicing spread throughout the area, seemingly moving the room that was floating in midair. Okay, now we should be able to mess me up. Ah, uh, yeah. Ultimately, the two languages I want to learn when I stop being a lazy piece of garbage is uh, Spanish and Japanese. Spanish because I'm American and it is the second most spoken language in the country, so it would just be convenient to know. And Japanese because I put 1,300 plus hours into a game I can't read, but... <laughs> side. See, and I, I, uh, Rosetta Stone was having a deal a bit back where, uh, they were offering their entire catalog of lessons for life for 200 bucks. So I leapt on that. <laughs> so I have all of their library. I just need to actually start taking lessons. Want them excellent, Ao. I will probably take you up on that. Version 6 context is a bitch! You deserve to be down here! Oh my goodness! You piece of garbage! They gave you a proper grave? They should have dumped you in the ocean, never be seen again! Wow! Piece of crap! Mmm! <laughs> I'm so mad! Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm actually pissed off. Ugh, I have to look at your face again. Double kill that ghost, please. You can see my existence. The existence of a poor man who's trapped in the past and can't reserve, go, return to heaven. You don't deserve to go to heaven. No, I will not say much. It has nothing do, to do with you who lives in this time. Good, I don't want to talk to you anyway. 
Oh, that's not an old story. That's what's funny. That's version six. That guy you don't learn who he is from Vertel version six, and he's a piece of shit. Oh, I'm so mad. More of an exorcism. If it'll work, do it. Get him out of here. Hit me. I dare you. Is, okay, yes. By timeline definition, that is an old story. By video game release, that is not something we learned till like eight months ago. Yo, A True Blue. I'm gonna actually make a stream clip because I, I want that freak out <laughs> clipped for later. <laughs> this dirt bag. I also need to take a screenshot of him and send him to Nick, who I think walked away. There's a large bell marked the Bell of Sorrow. Would you like to ring the bell? Yeah, I hope he's in this room. He deserves all of the sorrow. Bell rang in the area, creating a somber atmosphere. The tri-tuning fork that Excellent has began to resonate with sound. checked. I did, in fact, pin all of my links for you, so you have my Spanish. Neato! I'm actually mad that this guy is here. Wow! They set this up in version 3, and it meant nothing! Absolutely nothing! Where's Nick? I'm DMing him right now. True Blue. I don't think I have you in my monsters list. Man, not having that orb is doing damage. I need that. How goes things? It goes pretty good. You just missed me being actively, aggressively angry on screen. <laughs> my language stuff from hacks and watch red list. Oh gosh stays here. Yeah, no, freaking motherfucker deserves to not go to heaven. Wife murdering son of a <laughs> oh. On the pedestal, of which is a large tuning fork, stands an archaic inscription. Excellent, read the words on the pedestal. <laughs> I'm really mad. I am a friend of sorrow. I am the one who seeks the sound of sorrow. The sound of the bell of repose will soothe me. I'd like to add, hold up the tuning fork. All right, so now you get Nehru's love, I mean, See, we already have Din's fire resonating in the room. Now we get the closest to blue it's going to give us. It changed a lot, huh? Yeah, right? <laughs> the sound of sadness spread around, seemingly moving the room that was floating in midair. Alrighty, how do we get to that other side again? By following the map, of course. Gosh. 
<laughs> I apologize to all the the people tuning in for the first time and have no idea what I was losing my mind about, but wow. Wow, I am so like this is sound horrible. I'm so happy that guy is just eternally suffering. He deserved it. <laughs> as what eat that would be really cool apology accepted <laughs> oh gosh dang it all right you want to go oh your level is higher than mine how neat but is it higher than literally almost every other member in my party Ooh, those be low numbers now lunch has pep, so you ain't living long. Do I get above 100 when I have this? I do. Okay. That's the best buff. One of the best two buffs Battlemaster ever got was Quick Arts and uh, Tension Lock. Like visiting older areas with new context. What's crazy is version 3 is what? 2014? And that part of version 6 came out in 2023? <laughs> like, huh? The, the amount, like, I've said it before, Dragon Quest games excel at their post game, and all of 10's expansions, there's no way you can convince me that DQX either A, didn't have its entire plot written from the start, or B, it has to have its own exclusive lore bible. It has to. There's no way it can't. It's too consistent. Absolute mad lads. Yeah, no, there has to be a lore bible. There has to be. I don't know if I could take an even more humanoid side on. Huh? But yeah, the dedication to the writing is nuts. I'm gonna poke you. And like, this is not an exclusive incident. There's stuff in version one that don't make sense till version five. Everyone is thirsting over, yeah. All of horny Twitter. Sidon is a character you have a weird image of if you spend too much online. All of the internet going, woohoo, he's so hot, and like, sure, you're right, but like, the bro. <laughs> like the turtle horse thing? I mean, that one you get context in uh, version two. It's not that hard to figure out, True Blue. It's a relaxed atmosphere. I love all the people who are super mad at Yona because Yona nullifies all of their headcan. <laughs> yeah, good choice, stay off of Twitter. I actually really liked Yona, Yona was cool. Like everyone else is like, no, they took away my fish boyfriend. And I'm sitting here like, oh, my bro's getting married, let's go. <laughs> no, but support your gay friends. Strange soul. His personality is great. How much time has passed since that terrible day when we were taken prisoner? Oh! Okay, hold up! Hold up! So, the one guy, we we found What's-His-Bucket dead in here, where he really shouldn't be. He should not have a grave in here. And then they said our person was wrongfully accused and framed. This whole place is her grave, is her prison. This whole place is her pr Draco. Draco, you're the only person here that I think has full context. This whole place is a prison. They've said multiple times that she was banished and wrongfully accused. So like, before the, uh, the murder happened. I do, I'm caught up. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Oh no, it wouldn't be her prison. It would be, uh, the brother before he was, uh, cleared. It was that terrible day when we were taken prisoner. I have no way of knowing. This place was a prison and was soon forgotten. Only a few came, fulfilled their purpose, and left. 
So it is with you. Is that okay? We lost history now. Huh. So it wouldn't be it wouldn't be redacted. No, no, it would not. That's too early in the timeline. So think about it. But yeah, no, I, I'm ready to pop off with the context. Version six has added so much and clarified so much of the lore, specifically due to the fact that we're interacting with characters from ancient history. Like Lodegard, for example, what he did for a kingdom that is already lost to time and wasn't even more than 500 years old. That one, I really hope we finally see something with. Tuning fork. Think back to six, I think it's 6.1, Draco. Specifically 6.1, as you're going through each hero. All right, we've collected all three golden goddesses and now we can enter. Yeah, oh crud. <laughs> I'm trying to think cuz she wasn't banished. It's got to be the brother. I'm pretty sure it was the brother that was framed and banished for a bit before his name was cleared. If I'm remembering correctly. The sound of relaxation spread through the area, seemingly moving the room that was floating in midair. This game and the beauty of hindsight. Seriously, the writers of Dragon Quest X are cracked, man. Like, there is so much tiny little things that uh get set up Sometimes years of gameplay in advance. All right, now we're at the cool part of the dungeon where all the lights are crisscrossing in the air and oh, it's just, it looks so cool. Hey there, bud, how's it going? You having a good day? Cool, don't mind me. Ah, my MP, nice. Shots. Oh, yeah, it's real cool looking. Does your text change? You do not, no. Funky wiggly door. Oh, God, I already forgot what voice I did for this guy. Oh, excellent. You've solved the ruins puzzle, as expected of you. Perhaps that pot that was sealed away, that hor- the, the what? What, what, did I say pot? I'm very high right now. Perhaps that horror that was mentioned in the tablet is beyond this door. I hate it, you're welcome. <laughs> a door only, a door that only royalty can open. Let me give it a try first. Yeah, trying to do the voice I gave Husa with Otis's, the accent I gave Otis is actually hard. What the hell? It opened for me? After all, it did say that only royalty could open this door. Now we can continue our investigation. Post EQ9 is present. <laughs> flashback. As long as it's opened, that's good by me. Come on, everyone, let's go inside. Yeah, Otis in disguise, like, uh... Because in the famous words of another famous fish man, it's a trap! <laughs> yes. Because we're about to have a version one callback with a little, little snarky piece of garbage. Ergio, are you sure this is the right room? Yes, there is no doubt that it is. I'm sorry, I can't actually see. 
How strange. Where's this supposed crimson pot? If you look around, you can see what looked to be remnants of some sort of machine. Not sure I'd call it a pot, though. And exactly what is this great terror the tablet was talking about? Maniacal laughter! Gosh, what is your name again, lady? What a stupid prince. You fell for it again. Everyone just... Oh, this... You... And you are. It's funnier, because... Oh, I love this. Bum, 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 bum. Y y you forgot me? It's me! Kath! Lan! Kathlyn! Careful. This is that sneaky girl who tricked me into reviving Bogan. I wondered where she ran off to. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why do you get off calling me sneaky? You're just some run-of-the-mill guy. Oh, I knew it. You're just an idiot. You've been tricked into believing some nonsense of a fake tablet and came all the way here. That tablet was- I'm gonna drop his accent like he's pissed. That tablet is trapped? So you're the kidnapper after the royalty. Kidnapper? I don't know what you're talking about. All I had to do was tell that snake charmer that the prince was an idiot and would fall into such a simple trap. What an easy job. Snake charmer? To organization 13! That joke's not going away. I knew it. I was right about you. You're coming with me, Weddy Prince. I see. So you're the real kidnapper, then. You thought you could use her to lure us here, but... You've got it all wrong. We've been here for waiting for you. You fool! Oh god, he's pulling out the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Someone's ready. Load up the deck. <laughs> Go. Monster comes out, just makes the sound as the life points show up. Look at my magic deck. <laughs> Damn it! It's the same as it's the same as those paper monsters from the castle. This one's much stronger, huh? Excellent. I'm going to need your help here. Take this thing down. I'll take care of him, Excellent. We'll deal with the snicker. You take care of him, Excellent. We'll deal with the snake guy. Bad kitty. <laughs> Look, why magic deck? Organization 13, but they're all white mages. Yeah, right? When do we get that as a, a freaking Organization 13 cloak with snake? What would you call that? That'd be a cool vocation. All oh, right, version three uses like the start of it before you actually go to Nodrogram, uses the hate battle theme for all of these. The boss track. gonna hurt. Oh, man, Sunder. Hat Converter! Closest is Fortune Teller. Yeah. Easier to dodge attacks? Stop that. to light. Oh, that's bad. 
Oh, that's really bad. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Oh, lunch! Lunch has saved the day. Have I on my you if it's egg? I'd have to double check. Sent him straight to the Shadow Realm. Complete with purple smoke. To think you could stand against that demon. You better get used to that. You're going to be saying it a lot, pal. But my work here is finished. The Prince of Varinard is coming with me. Damn. Wait. What about me? I haven't gotten paid yet. Oh, Otis is pissed. Kathleen, I will never forgive you. Oh. Freaking Hanna-Barbera sound effect. You damn vixen. I shouldn't have let you be. Damn it. I swear I'll find you. I'm sorry, Exelon. Huso was captured in my place. What do you mean, in my place? What's going on here? Don't tell me the person who kidnapped wasn't actually the prince. And you're the real prince? I'm using the wrong voice. I'll explain everything later. Right now, we should get back to the castle. I have to tell mother what happened. Excellent. Please hurry to the castle, too. You want an escort? Everybody good? <laughs> Calmio again. Is that in version 3? No, that's version 4. Is Palmio version 3? I don't think Palmio is version 3. But yes, Palmio is great. Your text has not changed. Gosh, this is such a good dungeon. Master don't know have Noah's spells. Can't use evac. Must use evac bell. Reminded me of the one you usually do for him. For who? Which one? Did I have a voice I usually did for Otis? Or generic? Or are you talking my generic old man voice? So I do that one a lot. I think this was the voice I was using for the glasses guy. Yeah, I don't know why I went to my generic old man voice. Oh, no, Palmio. I'm pretty sure I did use the old man voice, but I exaggerated it further with a lot of energy. So it was like, yes, the science. I figured it out. Excellent. You must look at this. I've made a trampoline. <laughs> Thank you, True Blue. I'm probably need that. Bent Bentley? <laughs> you heard me, you got a hard drink. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Gotta chug that aqua. All right, we'll deal with uh, Orb in just a second. When, uh, because let's see, let's go back up so I can use the warp. As soon as that plays. Poison. Poisonk? Poison QB is now following. Thank you very much for the follow. Of all the things to follow right after, it's the hilariously bad boys, too. Welcome. Ugh. Ah, uh, do we have to deal with awful waterfall? 
All right, we might be taking a quick detour after this story event here, since we finished the main bit. Heard of the first part of E3, like the first B3 quest. Excellent. Otis told me everything that happened in the ruins. Since Otis was, Otis's double was the target. It's still safe to assume that the kidnappers are after those of royalty. I'm deeply sorry that your friend had to be involved in all of this. We will do everything we can to help. I've again notified the armamentalists to gather more information on that man in the ruins. They will help me if they find any findings. We have to track down that kidnapper at any cost. God, I love their freaking red mage with a sword aesthetic. Excuse me, I have to report to Queen Dior. <laughs> Just the smiley face. Thank you for coming, Yunati. Have you found any information on that man? I can't, I can't hear that man anymore. Guilty Gear has spoiled my brain. Yes, we have several confirmed sighting of a suspicious man in the Duachaka continent. A man with a snake wrapped around his arm was reportedly seen multiple times in the vicinity of the Dolwom Kingdom. I see. It is very likely that it is the same kidnapper from before. Please continue to gather more information. Yes, you can leave it to us. I don't think I ever did all of the armamentalist quests. I should do those. Well, you heard her, excellent. It seems our kidnapper's next target is the Dullworm Kingdom. In fact, a messenger from there came here the other day. They informed me that King Wulad has a favor to ask of you personally. I'm almost certain it is related to this kidnapper. Please go to Dolwom Kingdom at once and subdue. And subdue our target. Once, well, but before you go, I've prepared a reward for helping us. Won't you accept it? I don't know why the rewards are never in English. I, I, I'd have to ask why those don't like to translate. I'm coming with you, Exelin. Or, I'm coming with you, Exelin. Yuza was c captured because of me. I can't just sit here and do nothing. Calm down, Otis. Think about what Husa was your double for in the first place. I'm sure Husa is a very important friend of excellence. Shouldn't we leave, leave it to him? Yes, but he got close to him too, but also yes. Royalty, pal. I'm gonna have to ask you to sit this one out. Damn it. Excellent, I'm really sorry. If we can catch the kidnapper, we'll not only know where Husa is, but and Lucia and Raguis as well. I apologize for having to ask you once more. We truly need your help. We're all counting on you, Exelon. Alrighty. Use his heart. Oh gosh, is that our level cap? That's actually, it is not our level cap. But either way, we're pretty darn close, so that is perfect timing for a detour break. So, if you are on the YouTube end of this archive, I will see you next time.